Good morning, everyone. It's Jeff coming to you from Lockdown Security, www.lockdownsecurity on this cold winter's day, January 9th, 2020. And what I'm bringing to you today is a video of this 2018 Genesis G80 Sport that we just installed a CompuStar Pro T12 remote starter along with a DC3 controller and the iData Start ADS THR HK8T harness. We also installed the FT Alarmit kit, making this a full alarm start plug and play install on this G80. Now, while I was uh, telling you all of that, I dropped the factory key fob on the floor, so I'm just picking that up. I'm gonna show you how you can remote start this vehicle and then I'll get into a couple of the other things that we did. So, the first starting method would be using the OEM key. If I hit the lock button three times, We'll give it a second here. Car remote starts uh, and you are fully able to take over. So if I were to walk up to the vehicle right now, open the door just by grabbing the handle, I would get in, step on the brake and the vehicle can drive away at that point, provided I have the Genesis key fob in my pocket. Uh, the other way that you can remote start this vehicle is using the T12 key fob, which is this guy right here. If I were to press and hold this key button, I can shut the vehicle off. So basically, as you'll see, the vehicle shuts down. I can lock and unlock it using this key fob. So you'll basically see it chirps and it arms. If I hit the unlock button, it chirps and it disarms. Now this is a protective cover. This just tells people how to turn the key fob on. We leave this on for the customer to remove. So what we uh, did that was pretty cool on this vehicle, we did hook up uh, auxiliary one and auxiliary two to the following heated accessories. We connected the rear defroster along with the mirror de-icers, the heated steering wheel and the heated seats. Uh, what we did is we connected that to auxiliary one and auxiliary two so the client has control over it. What I'm going to demonstrate to you right now is I'm going to demonstrate to you auxiliary two because that will show you the heated seats and the heated steering wheel. So let me just uh, disarm the vehicle. I'm going to leave the OEM key fob on a car behind me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remote start it. Okay, car is running. I'm going to walk up to the vehicle. I'm going to get it in the vehicle. Now, I left the OEM key fob on the back of that maroon Saturn over there. The reason being is I don't want it to take over yet. I want to show you a couple of things. So here's the heated seat uh, button. Here's the heated steering wheel button. Heated seat on the passenger side. If I hit auxiliary two, which we connected to the trunk button, if you just tap it. So let me do that. You'll see the heated seats came on. Heated steering wheel came on along with the passenger side heated seats. Now, this is a stepped level heated seat control. That means it can go down to position uh, two and position one. There's three positions. I can actually vary those positions. If I hit it again, you'll see it goes to position two. If I hit it again, it goes to position one. If I hit it again, it goes off. Now, for those of you who may have uh, seen, the heated steering wheel turns on when it's in position three, turns off when it's in position two, turns back on in position one, and then off completely when you turn the, the positions off. Um, the reason we had to do that is there's a limited number of programmable output controls that we have on the DC3. In this particular instance, because we were hooking up so many heated accessories, i.e. the rear defrost, the heated seats times two, and the steering wheel, we didn't have enough POCs to keep these all individual. So we had to combine one of the programmable output controls to control heated seats and steering wheel. However, because it's a pulsed output, when it pulses the first time, it turns it on max. It pulses the second time, it turns it on uh, medium. Pulse it a third time, turns it on uh, low. Pulse it a fourth time, turns it completely off. Because these two are tied together on auxiliary two, that literally means each time you pulse the seats, it's turning this on and it's turning it off. Off. So that's why it does not turn on when it's in position two. That's really a moot point though, because who's ever really going to vary the level of their heated seats? Literally the client's going to turn them on when it's cold and leave it at that. So as you're seeing right now, the car is continuing to run. I don't have the key fob uh, for the vehicle with me. The reason being is I didn't want it to take over and, and mess up my video. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to shut the vehicle down and I'm gonna make sure that I am disarmed because when it shuts down, it sends a rearm pulse. So basically, there we go, it's disarmed. Now I can sit in this vehicle without fear of it arming and triggering. Um, essentially, 
Uh, it is plug and play on this vehicle. So for those of you who may own this vehicle and you want to do this install yourselves, uh, we do have a full plug and play T harness. It's a hundred percent plug and play. Uh, but for those of you who are attempting to do this install yourself, I have to warn you, there's a security plate on the body control module, which is where the T harness plugs into. Very difficult to get that plate off. Uh, we do usually recommend professional installation uh, in order to complete this sort of installation. Now, what you may have heard in the background, I just unlocked it again. The car does relock. Once it locks and you unlock it, it'll relock if it doesn't see the, the door open. So I just opened the door there to reset that. Um, getting back to everything, again, the parts we used was a CompuStar Pro T12 RF kit, an FTDC3 controller, the FT Alarmic kit to make it full alarm start. It's an upgrade, comes with a siren, the FTDAS shock sensor, and then the bright blue LED. We also did the iData Start ADS THR HK8 T harness, which made this install 100% plug and play. It's perfect for those of you that live in this sort of climate. Again, it's January 9th, 2020. It's cold, it's snowing. Perfect to have a remote starter. Even better to have heated seats hooked up and rear defrost hooked up. For those of you who are interested in something like this, sales at lockdownsecurity.ca or lockdownsecurity.ca. You can view all of the remote starters we have available for every single vehicle. You can also reach us toll free, 1-866-824-4118. We would love to hear from you. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you could, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It goes a long way to help us make more videos like this in the future. Happy belated new year to everybody, and we look forward to making many more videos in 2020. Thank you.